today is Monday, it is lunchtime. I'm sorry, my eyes keep darting around because when I look at me, I'm not actually looking at you, so I've got to look at a dot over here. Um, I am hoping one day to save up for a special vlogging camera so that the when I'm looking at it, I'm actually looking in the right place. That would be really nice. Anyway, it's freezing today. It's um, uh, week six. Week six. Oh, I've run out of fingers. Um, I'm just uploading last week's vlog. It was a bit short. Um, actually, time-wise, it wasn't that much short, but it's just I really didn't vlog that much last week. Um, I was so busy making and um, I've started sort of doing this virtual share in my um, workspace which means I uh, am um, I, I call um, another small business who works on her own and we just sort of have the the channel open so we can chat to each other if we want to or get on with work but it's kind of nice because you kind of feel like there is somebody there in the room with you um, and we sometimes listen to podcasts together as well and that's worked really well and I found that that motivated me loads last week but it did mean I videoed less um, but you know it's not a problem I didn't really have anything hugely exciting to show you um, so to the, this week I've got as it stands at the minute I have to design um, illustrate some more guinea pigs this time long-haired guinea pigs didn't even know they existed. Oh my God, they are so cute. Um, so I need to amend my uh, guinea pig clock and it's going to have six little long haired ones going around the outside interspersed with the, the other guinea pigs that I've already drawn. Um, so I have two of those to do. I have quite a few fabric books to do, but I also want to get some other book ideas that I've had going on in my mind. I want to get those sorted as well. Um, I have more accounts to do, that's what I spent all day yesterday doing, um, and updating my website. I want to make some more earrings. I don't know if you've noticed these earrings that I wear. I, they're not very clear, I suppose. Hang on. You see, I went in a workshop to make these, and um, they are just random uh, patterns, but I then turn them into discs and domed them and um, made them. I never worked in aluminium before. I've worked in silver. I did a degree in silver work, um, metal smithing and um, jewelry and things, but I've never worked. No, that's a lie. I did, the first thing I did was aluminium, but we didn't make jewelry or anything. Um, so these are really fun. Um, and the, um, it's a very interesting um, method in order to get the color in but it is also very messy. So I have a workaround which I do, um, and you'll see them on my website. I've only done two sets of earrings so far, so I want to try and do some more. I also have some really nice big pendants to do um, as maker's jewelry, and I have some hair slides and bangles that I want to print and try out as well, but I'm not quite sure how they're going to work. I've sort of been thinking about designs and that, so that that could be interesting. I've got um, two deliveries to come. Uh, one needs to go be picked up now, and that is for more clocks, as I have run out. And um, the other one is coming tomorrow, I hope. And that's got some more exciting things on as well. Hopefully Christmassy, Christmassy things. Um, and what else? Well, I can't think of anything else right now. So I better get on with it, really. <laughs> I will speak to you later.
Right, so I thought I'd show you the things that I've got. I've got um, a little lunchbox here. I've already printed a couple of these and they are available on my website. They don't have, they're not backpack or anything, they're just a handle at the top. They've got um, a printable section on the front and that's also a pocket and inside it's insulated and there is a pocket to put freezer packs, which is quite nice. I've got some more enamel pins in. I've got um, some metal dog tags. I don't know if you can see, they're quite thick, these ones, and you print on the panel. I thought these were a little bit classier than um, uh, normal dog tags, although I'm not sure I like the chain, so I'll probably replace the chain. Uh, we shall see. I got some ceramic uh, Christmas decorations. Um, I noticed though, when I hold it in the light, I don't know if you can see, but it's slightly bobbly. It's not as completely smooth as I was hoping it would be, so I'm not entirely certain how well these are going to print, but they're, um, they're ceramic, which is quite exciting, so that's nice. Um, I've got some door hangers. These two are double-sided, which I didn't realise. So it would be quite nice to have an illustration of your child on one side and Santa stop here, something like that. But anyway, these are, I was going to do these for Christmas, but I mean, if they go well, I might do them for all year round. I've got loads of notebooks because these have been selling really well. Um, at the minute, I've only got one design on them, but I'm going to be doing more, so that's those. Um, I've got some more clocks because I've sold out the clocks that I've already got so I need to print some more so there's a little stash there. Remember these are all toughened glass, they're quite heavy um, but they are toughened and actually they give such a super uh, result. There's all the mechanisms inside. Um, can you guess what these are? This was a bit of a whim I have to say but I am sure I can think of something educational to put on them. We have guinea pig darts. I don't know. But anyway, it's a dartboard. It isn't too huge, so I'm hoping I'm going to be able to print on that, all right? I might have to, although it'll fit in my printing press, my A4 printer will not, obviously, print quite that big. But it'll be close, so I'm hoping it will print all right. Um, so that's gears. And then I also have... Oh, I thought these would make super Christmas presents. The ceramic tile that I can print on and a wooden chopping board. So it can either be hung up as a display item or, um, or used. But uh, I'm thinking that might be quite a nice... I might do a hedgehog on there for my mum for Christmas. I like that. Um, and the other new thing I've got are these. I really don't know how these are going to work out. Um, I'm not going to take them out of the packet because I don't want to um, alter the sequins, but I don't know if you can see that it's covered in sequins. Now, I've got sequin things to print on before now, and I've always been a little bit nervous. So I got these, they're quite small, and these apparently will fuse onto a garment or bag or something like that. So I'm going to try printing... Um, from what I gather, you just put it in with all of them one way, print it, and then you can put them all the other way and print that way. So uh, I'm not sure, but we'll see how that one goes. Uh, I'll take you with me on that one because that'll be an interesting one. Oh, and the last thing I got, I think as fun as this might be, I think this might be financially unrealistic, but it's a stainless steel bottle and pump great for hair salons, um, things like that. Or if you have a lot of products at home. I'm not sure if it's gonna have much of a domestic application and the bottle itself was quite expensive compared to say the mugs. Um, so I'm not sure if that one is going to be a viable thing that I will keep selling, but uh, I do like to try new things. So when I order things, I tend to try and order one extra thing of something that I would like to try. So this is my uh, hoard, hoard, hoard. <laughs> this is my hoard of things. <laughs> there, so this is the collection of things that I've got from uh, my uh, orders. So now it's back to get on with all my, oh, I'll show you over here while I'm here. So it's I mean, it's lovely, but for some reason it's making a hard room really dark, which is ridiculous. So here we've got the chicken clock, 
ready to go out. I've bound up the, the hands to keep them safe, and this is the little free gift that I've done with it. This is one of the single sided key rings over here. I don't know if I mentioned, but I've got some heart double sided and circular double sided, which is quite exciting. Um, this is another order ready to go out. So we've got a heart skull heart key ring, and it's got a pin badge. There is a poster.
going to take you on a ride that I think might possibly be hilarious. I've got an umbrella here and I'm going to try very hard to print on it and I'm not sure how this is going to work because you can't take it off the frame which is a bit of a pain. Oh god see I can't even open it now. That's because it's got a button. Okay. <laughs> so somehow I've got to get it. Oh sorry it came out of me. In there. Oh my god, this is going to be so bad. Right, okay. The image I thought I would do is of a little boy jumping. So let's see. Oh, it's hot. I haven't just moved it actually. I'm holding my breath. Oh my god. Look at that! I can't believe that worked. What do you reckon? I mean, I can't do anything bigger than that, unfortunately, but I think that is so cute. I might just have to do that on all the other sides, or maybe come up with different illustrations. I don't know, but it's a wet day today, so I'm going to try it out. So, I just wanted to show you um, this book that is an experiment, really. Um, and I'm going to try and do a tutorial because I didn't have enough time on this video um, to show you how I made it. Um, I think it could still do with some moderation, so a modification. So I'd like to be able to do a cover, front and back, and a bit of a spine. But I basically, all I used was a needle, thread, and this. Um, Harry Potter is not specific. Uh, what I did was I used the, the edges as a guide so that every card I pierced in the same place. So it didn't matter what size it was, I could um, punch it in the same place. I wanted to do it in a way that you could um, do it at home. So there was no, you didn't need any special equipment. Um, I mean, I do my book binding with the uh, We Are Memory Keepers book binding tool but um, you don't have to and I wanted to show you a way that you could do it at home um, without any specialist equipment at all just a needle thread and your cards now like I said I am quite pleased with this but it's not as beautiful as I'd like it to be if say you were doing um, wedding cards and making it into a wedding book these are all and also the other thing is is that I've got quite three-dimensional cards here and so I think that there should be some height on some of these so that they don't get squashed. These are all cards that I've made in the past for various different um, demonstrations. Uh, I didn't make that. That just happened to be one in my cardstock. Um, these are all various different things. I mean, I thought I'd try this because these are different thicknesses. And also, you know, I, I don't use these cards. Like I said, they were all samples in my craft boxes. I had to go at making like a little folder so you could put tickets in, in the horror. Um, so, oh yes, this one is inside this one. I think the thing that's quite nice about this is that you could mix and match. So you could have some big sheets in between, you could have some inside, some wrapping around the outside. So I'm going to try and do a tutorial about that this week as a separate vlog um, because it would just make this one far too long. 
but uh, I wanted to show you that I have been experimenting and uh, as per a request um, so I will be doing a video very shortly. Right, so I'm signing off for this week. Um, it's been a really, really busy week. Thank you so much for all your orders. Um, it's been very varied. I think one problem with doing the amount of things that I do is you could be working on story stones for one minute and then you're working on notebooks or planners or business stationery or logos. I've been doing a logo this week as well. So there's been an awful lot of variety going around. I mean, you never get bored, which is great. Anyway, I'm going to sign off now. Um, I want to get this video uploaded and um, ready for you on Monday. So um, still need some editing to do, I'm afraid. And um, I think that's about it. So have a super week, weekend. I do this every time. Just have a super day. Okay. Bye.